David, that's all right. That's all right, Wilmington. Uh, we want to bring in uh, U.S. Congressman David Rouser with North Carolina's 7th District. That does include Wilmington. Uh, Congressman, thank you for being with us this morning. How many shelters are open in your district? I, I don't know the exact number of shelters, but there's a lot of them, and uh, folks have been working overtime to uh, take care of all those citizens uh, that have that need. Uh, I tell you, I'm quite concerned about uh, just the severe nature of the flooding that we could have. And, of course, a lot of people around the country may have forgotten Hurricane Matthew, but uh, all across my district, uh, people still remember it. That, was, that came in 2016. We still have a lot of folks recovering from that flooding, and uh, so that's of great concern to us right now. Okay, so let's talk about um, what resources you have because we know President Trump approved federal funding for North Carolina. So, what can you tell us about the National Guard, the Red Cross, and those types of uh, organizations? Well, they've got all hands on deck. I was just at the emergency management headquarters here in Raleigh yesterday, and I'm popping in there on a daily basis uh, throughout the uh, duration of this storm. And uh, once the storm passes through, uh, you're going to see a lot of a uh, lot of supplies, a lot of personnel uh, coming in to uh, to address it. Uh, but again, I think we're all very very concerned about the flooding, uh, the, the amount of time that power is going to be out uh, when you have flooding, just very very severe flooding. It, it, it's going to be a significant traumatic event, uh, very much a life changing event. But um, uh, I can tell you, the North Carolina Emergency Management. Um, uh, Baptist men and women, Red Cross, uh, we are on conference calls on a daily basis, and uh, they, they are ready to go. And, you know, when will um, the first responders, you know, I was talking to some police officers earlier. They said once this reaches a Category 1, they're pulling all the first, first responders in. So what should people do during the storm if they find themselves in trouble? Well, if... You know, we have been told and we've been telling everybody that, uh, you know, if you've chosen to stay home and, and you're in trouble, there's not a whole lot uh, that can be done. Now, once the storm uh, passes uh, at that point, uh, and one of the things we're concerned about are folks driving through running water, uh, and we encourage them not to do that. They can press yep. star 4-7 uh, to get help if they, if they find that they're trapped. Uh, but during the course of the storm, uh, all the elected officials, uh, we've all been told to tell everybody that, uh, you know, emergency personnel are not going to be able to get you. So uh, once, you, once you're where you are, you need, yeah. need to hang, hang tight and hopefully uh, weather this thing well and, uh, and be patient uh, in the aftermath. Yep. Yep.